Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mr. Talking, bringing you another Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi battle. And today I have a UU match for you, as you can see. Anyway, yeah, looking at my opponent's team, um, he has a Honchkrow, which is scary because they have swept me before, because once they get behind a stub, they're pretty much unstoppable. He has a Wacky Wave and Flavor Blanc Flaming 2-man. He has an Ambipom, which is going to be a, a an annoyance to put it basically it's really fast has technician has fake out what the hell can I do about it um also what is the mana time which I'm thinking maybe scarf which I thought might I uh, want to lead off but I don't really know um he also has miss majors don't know what they do Pfft, no no idea what they do at all um but I know my for about we are to outspeed it so that that could be um quite fun and he also has a Rhyperior which I'm thinking is either rock polish or band because he already has a ro stealth rocker um, see, he already has a stealth rocker, so I'm doubting that, um, that it's going to be a stealth rocker itself, so yeah, I'm thinking it's either banded or anything like that. Anyway, yeah, I guess I'd better get on then. Yeah, I'm just going to lead off with Crowback because he, you know, do all the short taunting and stuff, but he's going to send in his Ambipom, and I know this thing is probably going to be out to our speed, so I'm just going to switch out into, um, Slowbro to take it, and he, and he does indeed go for the fake out, and he takes it very, very well because, you know, uh, Slowbro is an absolute monster of a Pokemon, and um, so yeah, uh, he's just going to U-turn his way out, I kind of saw that coming, so I'm just going to go for the Thunder Wave on the obvious switch, and he does switch into his Haunch Crow, which is very, very nice, because um, yeah, I do get the Thunder Wave off, so that thing is uh, a lot less of a threat now, uh, so yeah, that's very nice indeed, um, and right here I'm just going to start scolding away, because um, I just want to kill this thing as fast as I possibly can, or if anything switches in, just get a burn on it. But um, he does stay in and go for the taunt, weirdly. I don't know why I did that, but yeah, um, that scold, obviously, as you can see, does a hell of a lot. So that's nice indeed, but yeah, he's going to switch out. He's not one to let his Honchkrow die yet. He goes into his wacky waving and fluid alarm flaming tube man, as I go for another scold. And it does do a little bit, and he gets the burn. However, he carries the Lumberry, which is, I don't know... I don't know why you carry a Lumber and a Bronze on, because it's not like it's going to get friggin' toxic or anything, but I don't know, to each their own, I suppose. I'm going to just send in um, my Heracross to just uh, get a Mega Horn on this thing, um, and hopefully get a Guts Boost or something. I do go for the Mega Horn, and it does, like, a lot, like 60%, and he goes for the Gyro Ball, and he know knowing I'm Scarfed, and it does a, a lot to Heracross, but, you know, it doesn't matter too much, because he um, I can kill him with another hit, but he's going to send in his Honchkrow, uh, I guess to die, and yeah, I'm going to kill that with a Mega Horn, so yeah, that is uh, pretty good, so now any chance of a setup sweep um, is not going to happen, so I'm just going to switch out, um, because he switched into his Ambipon, so that's obviously going to fake out, I'm going to switch into um, Slowbro to, to, date, to take that, and yeah, I do take that, once again, quite well, so that's uh, very nice indeed, and uh, he's going to just go U-turn out uh, again, so yeah, that's always fun. Um, and I think I'm going to go for the Skull and the Switch, I can't actually remember, even though I just watched this battle, god I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, he goes into his Bronzong, and yeah, I do just go for the Skull again, and um, that almost takes out his Bronzong, but he does live with like a sliver of HP, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to outspeed in this turn, because I'm pretty sure he'll run zero speed IVs, because he uh, carries the Gyro Ball, so yeah, I am able to take that out on the next turn, uh, so that's uh, his one of his major walls down, so that's good indeed. Uh, he's in his Rhyperia, and... Uh, he goes for the Mega Horn, and this is what makes me think it's banded because it does a hell of a lot. Uh, but and I do live, and I managed to go for the Scald, and because it's four times super effective, it is uh, able to take down that Rhyperia uh, very, very, very early on. So that is good. That's another huge threat if it's down. So yeah, uh, that's what made me think it was banded just because of that massive damage. I'm gonna switch out because obviously Ambipon's gonna go for another fake out. I'm gonna go into Heracross. I think I might be able to take it. Uh, however, that is not the case. He's going to go for the fake out, and it's going to—he's going to smack me with those dual hands, and I'm going to die. So that sucks. Um, I'm going to go into Crobat to kind of scare him out um, with like Super Fang or whatever. He's going to switch out, probably predicting the Super Fang, I suppose, into his Miss Magus. Um, but I'm just going to go straight for the Brave Bird, um, and it does a lot to that Miss Magus. And I know I can outspeed it on the next turn because even if it runs max speed, I can outspeed it. So I'm just going to go straight. For another Brave Bird, and that is going to take down his Miss Magus as well. So that's very, very good. And that's another, I think that, that was his uh, special war, but I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, that's another, um, that's another one of his guys down. So that's very good. He's now going to send in his Ambipom and uh, fake out his obvious once again. So I'm just going to switch out into Registeel to take it. Um, and basically, what was going through my mind here is I want to get, um, Slowbro as much health back as possible. So I went to Registeel here to, um, 
bait the low kick and uh, obvious low kick is obvious so I'm going to go back out into Slowbro to take that low kick um, and I do uh, take it as you can see very very well and yeah and I'm basically doing this to get low, as much HP back as I can and now he's going to go for the obvious U-turn so I'm going to switch out back into Registeel to take that um, and yeah that does actually work out for me you go for the U-turn uh, and it doesn't do very much for Registeel and Slowbro is now a quite high amount of HP from the Regenerator so yeah that's cool he's going to send in his Damanitan uh, which you know was kind of obvious but I can just switch straight into Slowbro when I need to like right now I'm going to switch back into Slowbro uh, to take the obvious either Flare Blitz or Earthquake or anything he is going to go for the Earthquake uh, which is fine and right here he reveals to me that he isn't Scarf because uh, I can see the Life Orb recall so that's kind of weird um, but that's fine I don't really mind and he's going to go for the U-turn uh, slow, I'm pretty confident Slowbro can live, and he can with 1 HP, which is amazing. So yeah, Slowbro lives with 1 HP, and he's going to be able to get a Thunder Wave off on the incoming Ambipom, so that's very, very nice. Um, however, right here, like an idiot, I actually um, forget about the Fake Out, which is, I know, really retarded, and he's just going to be able to go for the Fake Out uh, and not get the Paralyzed, and I'm going to die. So that's very, very annoying. Uh, I'm just going to switch out into... Um, uh, into Bishop because I'm pr I was pretty much gonna go for the um, sub and then hope for a Paris so I could go for an uh, SD and then just like sweep the rest of his team with sucker punches. But as you can see, he's not getting paralyzed once, so basically I'm just losing a lot of health for substituting. But um, so yeah, that, that's kind of stupid. But um, now I know he's just gonna go for another low kick, so I'm just gonna switch out into As Elf uh, to take it, and I am gonna. And yeah, he is going to go for another low kick, he's not going to know what's going on. And yeah, that low kick is not going to do very much at all. And right now I know I can obviously outspeed and I can go for the side shot because um, Ambipom is quite frail. And I can take that Ambipom out with a nice side shot and that is going to be nice. And he's going to send his last guy who is his Dalmanitan. And I'm pretty confident I can outspeed. If and if I don't, I can go for a sucker punch and I outspeed, go for the side shot and take down that Dalmanitan. Uh, yeah, and that is going to be a dead Damanitan and that is going to be the last kill of the game so that is going to be the victory in my favour so yeah that was um, a pretty a bit of a quick game I'll admit but yeah still a pretty damn good game Did it? I did enjoy it a lot um, I'm enjoying using these UU guys I, I think it's a pretty solid UU team I've got actually but yeah um, god I'm so glad I didn't get swept by, swept by Honchko because I friggin hate Honchko it's so good I can't believe it was an RU for so damn long Anyway, yeah, um, I don't really have much else to say now, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.